All right, yeah! Thank God for fantasy football. I'm Buster Brown, and the show is called Redemption Rehab. Today, we're taking a look at the weekly waiver wire report. People are getting hurt in the NFL. You have bye weeks coming up. You've got holes in your roster. Guess what? We're here to help you get those holes filled so you can win your championship in 2023. So buckle up, get out your popcorn, let's head over to the chalkboard, and let's check out the facts. Okay, here we are taking a look at the week eight weekly waiver wire report. On the screen right here, we have the Los Angeles Rams depth chart at running back. Guy that everybody's going to go after this week is Daryl Henderson. Last week, he had 18 carries for 61 yards and a touchdown. He had one catch for five yards. Another guy everybody's going to go after is a guy we told you about last week, Royce Freeman. Royce Freeman had 12 carries for 66 yards. And they play the Cowboys this week. Hopefully you listened to the show last week. We told you be careful with Zach Evans. Everybody's going to go after him. People spent a bunch of money, and he's got you zero points. The coach for the Rams, Sean McVay, he likes to play like Russian roulette with his running backs. He goes with the hot hand, plus he likes to protect his quarterback. So be very careful going after any of these running backs because you never know who will be the hot hand against the Cowboys in Week 8. Let's take a look at another depth chart of some people you should know about this week. Okay, as you can see here, you have the Cleveland Browns depth chart at running back. Jerome Ford is out for one to two weeks, so in steps Kareem Hunt. Last week against Indianapolis, Kareem Hunt had 10 carries for 31 yards and two touchdowns. He didn't catch any passes, but he can. Then came in Pierre Strong. A lot of people are going to go after him this week. He had eight carries for 25 yards. And uh, another guy they have on their bench is Deion Jackson. Keep him in mind. Uh, he'd be a long shot to get any points. Someone you want to keep on your watch list for week nine of the NFL season. Let's take a look at some other people we like this week. Everybody's going to go after this guy. Deontay Foreman of the Chicago Bears. We told you last week to go get him. If he did, you'd have got you 30 points. He had 16 carries for 89 yards and two touchdowns, filling in for Khalil Herbert. He also caught three balls for 31 yards and another touchdown. This week, Roshan Johnson's probably coming back. He's a rookie we highlighted in our NFL Draft preview shows in April, where we talked about all the rookies coming into the league that we do every year. When you get a chance, you got to check out those shows. Uh, we talked about Roshan Johnson out of Texas. He's going to come in. He's going to be the backup to Deontay Foreman. Uh, so he's going to cut into his playing time. I really like Roshan Johnson. If you get a chance to pick up Deontay Foreman or Roshan Johnson, you should put him in your lineup. Another guy we really like this week at running back, we talked about him a few weeks ago, is Amari DiMicardo. We told you not to go out and spend a lot of money on him because Keontae Ingram might be the starter. And Amari DiMicardo got to play 13 carries. For 58 yards, and he had four receptions for 17 yards. Looks like they're going to play Russian roulette over there in Arizona with their running backs before James Conner comes back. So be very careful if you pick up Amari DiMarcado. If you need a good wide receiver for weeks now, we've been telling you to go out and get Josh down to the Indianapolis Colts. Last week, he broke out again. Five receptions, 125 yards, and a touchdown on six targets. He's having a big year. You should go out and pick him up if he's on your waiver wire. Josh Downs. Another guy we really like is Kendrick Bourne. We've talked about him for several weeks. He had another big week. Six catches for 63 yards and a touchdown on seven targets. Another guy that might get some playing time because of the injury to DK Metcalf is Jackson Smith and Jigba. He's another one of the rookies we talked about in an NFL Draft preview show back in April. And we told you he was going to have a big year where he finally broke out with four catches for 63 yards and a touchdown on seven targets, along with another rookie, Jake Bobo, out of UCLA. He had four catches for 61 yards and a touchdown on five targets. Another rookie we talked about in our NFL Draft preview show was Jaden Reed of the Green Bay Packers. He's a little banged up, 
So is Christian Watson. But if Jaden Reed gets to play this week against the Minnesota Vikings weak secondary, he's looking to have a good game. Last week he had three catches for 21 yards and a touchdown on four targets against the Denver Broncos. And people may have made a mistake and cut rookie Tank Dell. Tank Dell's coming off a bye week for the Houston Texans. See if he's on your waiver wire. We'd also be picking up possibly Traylon Burks. He's coming back from a knee injury. Uh, be careful of the quarterback situation there. And we want you to keep a couple people on your watch list. How about Demario Douglas down there in New England? He had four receptions this week. And Miko Hardman's another guy I'd have on my watch list. He went from the Jets back to the Kansas City Chiefs in a trade. Let's take a look at some tight ends we like this week. A tight end that I would be very careful with that a lot of people are going to go out and get is Taysom Hill of the New Orleans Saints. He had four catches for 50 yards on five targets, and he also ran the ball five times for 16 yards and got a TD. He's been playing a lot because Jawan Johnson's been out, but Jawan Johnson's supposed to come back in week eight. So be very careful with Taysom Hill. Also, Dalton Kincaid of the Buffalo Bills. He had eight catches for 75 yards on eight targets. He's going to get a lot more playing time with Dawson Knox out for an extended period of time. And let's not forget about a guy we've recommended several times this year, Cade Otten down in Tampa. He had five catches for 43 yards on six targets. They play the Buffalo Bills this week. And we've been talking about Jake Ferguson for weeks. People have cut him because they were on bye and he didn't play well against San Francisco. If you get a chance to go get Jake Ferguson... Get him in your lineup this week and keep an eye on your watch list for Chigozim Okonkwu of the Tennessee Titans. For those of you out there that need a kicker, we are recommending Dustin Hopkins of the Cleveland Browns. Last week he was 4 of 4, three kicks over 50 yards. Would have got you 24 points for the Cleveland Browns against the Indianapolis Colts. If you need a good defense, we're recommending the Atlanta Falcons against the Tennessee Titans quarterback Malik Willis. We expect the Falcons to play well against them on the road. And if you need a quarterback for weeks now, we told you last week it was Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew was 15 of 23 with two TDs passing. And he also ran the ball three times for 29 yards and another two DDs. And he got you a cool 28 points, man. You should have listened to us, and you should have went out and got him. If you need some other quarterbacks to keep on your watch list, Kyler Murray's supposed to come back in the next few weeks of the Arizona Cardinals. We like Jimmy Garofalo for the Las Vegas Raiders against Detroit this week. He's coming off an injury, so be careful with that one. And if you need a sleeper, it's Bryce Young at home against the Houston Texans. The first and second overall picks in last year's draft. We highlighted these guys. And our NFL Draft Preview Show in April and we'll give you all their stats and statistics on each one of those rookies that came in the NFL in 2023. When you get a chance, check it out. There you have it. That's another weekly waiver wire report for Fantasy Football Redemption Rehab in the books. I'm Buster Brown. The show is called Redemption Rehab. Good luck.